If you're a beginner, here's 9 tips to get you started with climbing up the ranks in Tetrio. The first thing we want to go over is stacking. If you look at this game, this is an ideal stack for a beginner. You want to stack up all your pieces on one side, and leave an open well on the other. When you fill up 4 rows, you put the long eyepiece in the hole, and that's Tetris. Or in this game, it's called Quad. A Tetris will send 4 lines of garbage to your opponent, and more later on. So when you're starting out, you want to keep this pattern of stacking up on one side, and putting your eyepieces on the other. If you continue this, then you will send lots of garbage to your opponent. You may panic when your opponent sends garbage to you, but sometimes you won't have to worry about that. If they send one or two lines, it's not going to matter too much. And you can keep continuing to use the same strategy of stacking and sending Tetrises. If we look at the game of Tetris as building up an attack, and sending our attack by clearing a Tetris, we see how important the eyepiece is. When you stack up, you want to use the eyepieces to send the Tetris, so make sure you don't waste them by using the hold feature to save a piece for later. When you stack, you want to be careful of dependencies. A dependency means you can only place a certain piece in the stack. Here, there's a long area that hasn't been filled out, meaning we have an eyepiece dependency. Here, we have a two block deep hole, shaped like an L, meaning we have an L piece dependency. Keeping your board flat and even is a good way to stop a dependency from happening. So by the time you get to B rank, you want to have mastered stacking up and sending a Tetris. If not, you can always do the ETERNAL EXERCISE linked in the description. In this exercise, all you have to do is send 10 Tetrises, and you can't send any less. Now, we should learn an opener. An opener helps you get a good start at the beginning of the game, sending garbage early to your opponent. For beginners, look to an opener like TKI. An opener that gives you 4 lines to send with the first 7 pieces in your queue. There's also DT Cannon, a longer opener that sends 12 or more lines. A bit risky, but more rewarding. If you want to learn more about openers, you can go to 4.lol and study these openers. Try not to learn too many, you should focus your efforts on getting better at the game. If you look at your stats, you see these two stats, APM and PPS. What do those mean? PPS means your pieces per second, or how fast you place your pieces. Your APM is your attacks per minute, or how many lines you're sending. APM is a pretty good measure of skill, since the more APM, the more attack your opponent will send. See your average APM in PPS, and set a goal for yourself. Reach 20 APM, reach 30, whatever you think is an achievable short-term goal to help you track how much powerful your attacks will become. If you want to increase APM, We'll have to go back to talking about Tetrisids. If we look at this board, there's one, two, three, four rows filled out. So if we put an eyepiece in our well, that sends a Tetris. In this image, there's one, two, three rows. That's only going to clear three lines. Even worse, it only sends two. If we fill in this area right here, we can make it four rows, which doubles our line set even better. If you're on top of all these tips, great job. There's still some improvement to be made, and now you need to be able to deal with your garbage. The higher you get in your rank, the more you have to interact with it. And around A rank, it becomes necessary to deal with. You need to learn down stacking. It's like regular stacking, but the opposite. You need to start practicing reaching the bottom of your stack. If you can reach the bottom of your stack, then you can reach the garbage and send it all back at them. If you use both up stacking and down stacking, then you have a huge advantage against your opponents in lower levels. To reach your garbage, you need to have a lower stack. When you get garbage, you need to be ready to act. If you build too high, your garbage is down there and you can't reach it. You need to be a bit lower than usual if you want to deal with it. Being too high can be a problem as well, so you need to decide when to upstack and downstack. If you have a low board, upstack. If you have a high board, downstack. These two components are essential to surviving a game of Tetris. However, there is one more thing that can help you send more garbage. We've talked about openers already, but now we need to talk about T-spins. T-spins can send way more lines of garbage than clearing like normal. However, many beginners fall into the trap of using it at the wrong time. Openers are a great time to use T-spins, but when you start playing on your own, it tends to get a bit harder than that. Take this T-spin setup for example. You can try to build it, but it's taking too long to set up. At that time, I could have set up a Tetris instead. 
So you want a teaspoon when it's most convenient. The best way to make a teaspoon is seeing a T-shaped hole and then looking for an overhang, as well as the T-piece to use. In this case, a teaspoon would be a good idea. If you want to practice freestyling teaspoons, you can try using a different method of stacking, which we call 6-3 stacking. We call it that because there's six columns on the left and three on the right, and it even works vice versa. With this kind of well, you can set up more teaspoons in the center of your board. It can also help improve your teaspoon vision, and can be easier to find a teaspoon that's more convenient. Thank you for watching.